Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Liz. So today I'm going to be cleaning up and like condensing my makeup, which is going to be a very hard task. And I'm going to try to declutter. Honestly, I don't know how much I'm going to be getting rid of, but I just want to kind of condense everything. Because right now what I do have, I'll show you guys. So currently my desk is a little messy, so it does have to be cleaned up. And I do have two of these. I have the Alex 5 Draw. And I do have them pretty filled, like they are stuffed. And either way, they do have to be kind of organized. This one can definitely be condensed. And then I have this one over here. It's a little messy on the side, so please ignore that, but they are filled. <laughs> like I have one drawer just dedicated to highlights, so I'm not sure how that's gonna go. But as I stated in previous videos, we are turning this room into our bedroom, so I'm trying to condense everything because I just wanna keep everything in this set right here this way i can use that one in the nursery to store everything so this is definitely gonna be a tense task it's gonna be fun to declutter clean up a little spring cleanup makeup haul so if you guys are into that just keep watching so i'm gonna start with this guy i hope that the lighting is adequate i apologize i literally just dropped my ring light it was standing right here and it fell and hit this and shattered all over the floor so i need a new bulb and hopefully they sell bulbs but I'm just using some other lighting for now, and we all know the ring light gives the best lighting, but I don't have that, so. I also have people living under me, and I'm not sure if they are sleeping right now, so I don't want to vacuum yet, so there are little shards of glass, but I did my best to clean it up. But what I want to do is kind of, if I can take the drawers out, perfect. I'm going to take the drawers out, all of them. And what I want to do is kind of just put everything into piles, like put all the highlights together, put all the blushes together this way. When I go to do the draws, I can kind of know what I have. Alright, so that is everything out of the drawer. So there I have foundations, there I have skincare and skin masks, I've got blushes, lashes, face products, a little bit of lip stuff, concealers, highlighters, which is a lot, face palettes. Those are samples and those are just like accessory things like tweezers, scissors, lip gloss things that I use almost every day or need to grab. Some skincare stuff, those are all my palettes, some extra brushes single eyeshadows, primers, and my bronzers are back there. So I'm gonna start organizing the drawers. Now these are a little bit dirty. They're like $2 on Ikea. I probably would just go buy new ones because I've had these for a while. However, Ikea I can't go to, so I'm just gonna use them for now. And I'm gonna try to figure out what I wanna do. Thinking I'm gonna make one for highlights and see how much I can fit in there because I can fit my highlight palettes in here. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm 
I'm liking this for the highlights. The palettes are not my favorite setup because to get to someone might not see it, but I think that's okay for now. And then I've got two rows of highlights. I had to kind of squeeze some of those liquids next to it. And I think, I think this row I'm gonna do blushes because this way it keeps cheeks together. And I do have a lot of blushes, so I know I need more than one row so I can use this whole row for blushes. Here, I just have a little pile of things that I don't need or I'm gonna get rid of or gift. So I think this drawer is perfect. I like how it is. I have blushes here. I did put one of the highlight palettes right here to make some room. But pretty much everything's organized. I've got blush and highlights right here. So I'm gonna put this in the second drawer over there. So I also have these acrylic shelves. And what I think I'm gonna do is put all my foundations on them and put them against the wall. This way they're lined up and pretty. But I have to make sure that I have three of these and I have to make sure that I don't need all three because if I don't need all them, I'm gonna use the other one for my primers. So for this one, I am thinking it's going to need to be powders, bronzers, and concealers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll figure out the room on the other parts. And this is going to go on my top shelf. So right here, what I'm thinking, I do love having like my grab and goes right here. So I'm going to make this kind of like the accessories, like I've got razors, I've got diluter, scissors, lip balm. So those are going to stay here. And I think right here, I'm going to do primers. This one's all good. So I've got all my face powders, concealers, pretty much how they were before. And this is just kind of like correctors more so right here. So this way they're a little separated because I have so many concealers, it's kind of obnoxious. Bronzers and then primers and then the grab and go. So this will be my top drawer, which I really like. I also had its own like little section for mascaras, which I don't think is necessary now. So I'm gonna keep like an everyday mascara and a backup one right there. And these I don't use too often, so I'm gonna put them in another drawer. All right, so far I do have the top drawer done. The second drawer, and I think, just get a little stuck this one, but that's okay. This one, I'm going to have to declutter some liquid highlights, but I think for now this is going to do the job fine. For the third drawer, I think I'm going to do all my palettes, so I do just probably can get rid of that. And I'm going to keep this here just so it keeps it from moving too much. Also with these, if you really wanted to, there is a little space right in here. So you could put some extras if you really need to, which I think actually on this one I'm going to do that. I'm going to move this forward because as you can see, these keep getting messy. So I'm going to move the Jeffree Star highlights right in front so that they're not moving around too much and causing the gel to get stuck. And I can keep those just shit close. Never mind, I can't do that. <laughs> All right, so what else can I do? So let's get to the palettes. So what I think I'm gonna do actually is put all my face masks back here because I don't use those all the time, so it's not something I need to grab consistently. And this way it has something for the palettes to lean against so they're not all falling. And to pull out this drawer all the way to get a palette back here is gonna be so heavy, so I don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna organize this a little bit. Unfortunately, a lot of these products I can't really use because of pregnancy, but I don't know what, so I'm just gonna get rid of things that I don't think I'm gonna use for a while anyway. So I think that's perfect, and these I'm gonna all get rid of because I really don't use them too much, so those can be garbage. Like super duper ideal but it is in here really nice which i appreciate i don't know if i'm gonna be able to close it put that 
palette. So back here, like I said, I have all my face stuff. I did stick one little palette. I too love this one for just like extra little highlighting, so I don't have a heart to get rid of it yet. This one I want to get rid of too, but this was my first palette, and same thing. I just don't have the heart to do it yet. So all my palettes are in here, all the eyeshadows, which is really nice. I'm just going to move this one and then my Morphe one somewhere else. So for this one, I think I'm going to do glitters, face palettes, and also single eyeshadows and brows and kind of put it in here. And then the last one will still be my backup draw. So I could put backups in there, maybe lashes because I don't use lashes too often. I do have a lot of makeup bags. I don't know if I'll be able to fit all of them in there, but that's okay. I do have glitters in here. I don't know how I can make this neat. I'm going to try to. I'm going to add some glitter liners to it though. So this draw is kind of my more used, like glitters, eyeshadows, individual eyeshadows. It's what I kind of use in my kit. So I do want to keep everything here because it's just easy to grab. And then I decided this one will be my individual shadows and some glitter sticks, eyeshadow sticks. So that is perfect. I so don't really want to use this one for lashes, but I don't want to put lashes in the bottom draw. So I'm going to make this one lashes. All right, so like I said, the eyelashes aren't my favorite setup, but they are perfectly fine. And then right in here, I did add some like liquid contour, cream contours. This way it's all with the face stuff and all my contour stuff is together. And then for this bottom drawer, it totally needs to be swept out. But what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this the backup drawer and like skincare stuff, kind of as skincare versus like my makeup wipes and cotton pads and everything. So that will go down there. I totally forget, I have like a box of like Halloween stuff, so I'm just gonna go through this and organize it a little bit and keep like the Halloween stuff back here because obviously I don't need it and I don't really wanna put it anywhere else. And these are just like crummy brushes that I would use for Halloween stuff. I keep all the backups in this little box just to keep everything a little bit neater. Now these, like I said, are backups or things that I cannot use anyway yet. So I'm gonna kind of store those. pretty happy with the way this looks like I said backups are right here I did put some bags in here this way I don't have too many because I have a lot of bags and then just on top of the Halloween stuff because I only use that once a year I put some makeup wipes extra these I just use for cleaning because they're pretty terrible <laughs> some backup q-tips and some things to get my skincare and then all my makeup removers right here which is great so the table behind me is still kind of a mess so I'm just going to clean that up and kind of go from there So I just organized my brushes. These are usually my fluffy brushes and these are like the under eye, more condensed brushes. So those are gonna go there. All right, so it is day two. My camera died yesterday. So I was left off with finishing up my brushes. I organized those and put those all away. My big ones I put away. 
I left off saying that there was an issue with my little like foundation brushes. I have them all right here. I did keep them all in a drawer to keep them clean, but now all my drawers are filled. So what I want to do, so what I want to do for that is get another acrylic holder. These were from TJ Maxx from the bath section. Obviously, I can't get it right now, so I'm just going to keep the brushes all here right now. And when I can get it, it's going to go against this wall right here, and it can just sit like this. So I'm kind of going to scooch them over here for now. It's going to be a little messy, but... I have nowhere else to put them. So my husband did go ahead and hang up the shelves for me. I think I'm going to do the top and middle foundation and this one primers because this way it's not really seen as much and primers aren't always the neatest because they're so different. So I'm going to do that and get those organized. This wall is a mess but we don't have the paint to repaint it so it is fine for now. It's not the cleanest looking but... One more little quick tip I have before I go for declutter. I showed this before, but if you haven't seen any of my other videos, this is a pencil case holder. So here I keep all my eyeliners and dark eyeliners. And in the middle, I keep eyeliners and lip liners. This holds so many. It holds all of them. Right here on the Alex I'm going to get one of those command strips. And I'm just going to hang it up right here. This way it is always there. You can just grab it, which is great. And everything is right in front of you. It makes keeping your liners so much more organized. And it's so much easier to find them, which is really nice. Because I know when sometimes they're in like a little cup, you got to sort through them and find it. This I kind of know like, okay, all my blacks are here. All my darks are here. All my colors are in them middle which is really nice and you can see everything so a great tip you can get this on Amazon so that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time bye